Former France captain Patrice Evra spoke on his Instagram earlier today about the withdrawal of Karim Benzema from Les Blue squad during the World Cup, and specifically how he was disappointed from the outside at the attitude of France players towards the Ballon d'Or winner. I have the impression that Karim bothered a lot of people, said the former Manchester United defender, before getting into the question of whether Benzema could have made a return you as players should be going to war for another player, the doctor said he would be out for only three weeks. Ever then cites the injury situation of Angel Di Maria, who returned in time for the final against France, even scoring against Les Bleu during the 3-3 draw which led to a penalty win for the Argentines. You told Karim to do his business, you players are making the same mistake as the 98-foot world champions who thought that the French national team belonged to them. The French national team belongs to everyone. The fitness of Benzema was a contentious issue throughout France's World Cup journey, which ultimately led to the striker announcing his retirement from international football following their defeat in the final against Argentina. Tensions arose between the France team, Real Madrid, and Benzema's own team, particularly due to the fact that he played in a friendly match with Real Madrid on December 15. Having already lost the likes of David Alaba, Aurelien Chouamini and Lucas Vasquez to injuries, Real Madrid have suffered yet another blow as fullback Dani Carvajal is a doubt for the upcoming game against Villarreal, according to Marca. Los Blancos take on Villarreal in the round of 16 of the Copa del Rey on Thursday night away at Estadio de la Caramica. And, Carvajal seems set to miss the match after not participating in the training session with the rest of the squad earlier today. Carvajal had missed Real Madrid's La Liga encounter against Villarreal earlier this month due to muscular discomfort. While he did return for the Spanish Super Cup matches against Valencia and Barcelona, his performances were subpar. Now, as per the aforementioned report, the Spanish international is again suffering muscular discomfort, as a result of which he skipped training earlier today. As a result, his involvement in the upcoming game against Villarreal is seen as a major doubt. This comes as a major blow for Carlo Ancelotti, who is running out of options for the right-back position. With Carvajal a doubt, Vasquez already injured and Alvaro Odriozola out of favor, the Real Madrid boss could decide to utilize Nacho at right-back, while Eda Militao would also be an option, having played on the right side of the defense in the league game against Villarreal. Real Madrid Castilla youngster Vinicius Tobias would also be an option that Ancelotti could look at, although the Italian has appeared reluctant to promote youngsters from the reserve team so far this term. A clearer update of Carvajal's injury could arrive when the manager addresses the media in his press conference tomorrow. For now, he looks set to miss the trip to Villarreal for Thursday night's game. Speaking on El Chiringuito TV, former Real Madrid star and legend Guti has claimed that the club do not need the services of veteran midfielder Luka Modric. The 37-year-old midfielder is one among several players whose contract expires at the end of the season. While Real Madrid have been handing him a one-year rolling contract in recent times, there has not been much movement in terms of a new deal as of yet. However, reports suggest that Los Blancos expect Modric to remain at the club for another season and that his renewal at a later stage this season will not be an issue. But, former star Guti has claimed that he has doubts about giving the Croatian international a new contract as he would not have a space in the side next season. Furthermore, he claims that Real Madrid no longer need to be reliant on Modric, as he said. I have doubts with Luka Modric. He won't have his space, next season. Real Madrid doesn't need him. I don't know if Bellingham or another midfielder will come, but he has to leave at some point. Guti's claims come amidst Modric's recent dip in form after he led Croatia to a third-place finish in the FIFA World Cup 2022. The veteran superstar has looked fatigued and has appeared well below his best since. Manager Carlo Ancelotti has been heavily reliant on the former Tottenham Hotspur man despite his age and all the minutes seem to be taking a toll on his fitness. With Real Madrid pushing to sign Jude Bellingham in the summer transfer window, Guti sees it as the right time to bid goodbye to the legendary figure of Modric. However, the Marengs see the situation in a different light, as they believe Bellingham's pursuit is not dependent on the future of Modric and even want the Croatian to mentor him.